Today we're in downtown Chillicothe. It is one of the stops that is done every year for the Cincinnati Reds radio network. And we've got them out on Main Street right now. They're all getting parked and lined up and ready to go. But we're going to have a chance to talk with Dick Williams today. Pitcher Amir Garrett is with us. Tyler Stevenson is one of the up and coming minor league players. He will also be a part of this. So looking forward to it. I'm going to show you more here in just a bit. News Radio WBEX has been a longtime affiliate of the Reds Radio Network. When the Castellini family purchased the club, efforts were made to reach back out to Reds Nation. Part of that was taking the show on the road across Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, and West Virginia, visiting larger cities. But iHeartMedia Chillicothe has been first on the stop of the northern leg of the caravan and has served as a hub for radio, newspaper, and today, litter media. Former Reds pitcher Jeff Brantley, the Cowboy, is in his 12th season in the booth for the Reds TV and radio networks. He's become a fixture with Baseball Hall of Fame broadcaster Marty Brenneman. Well, Marty and I have a have a great time, a great rapport. Uh, we're we're almost like a, a married couple. There there are certain things that he knows about me. I know about him. Uh, he can finish my sentences a lot of times. I can finish his a lot of times. Uh, and, and I think that's kind of what it takes to to be a to be a good listen. Uh, you can't um, you can't have too much animosity up there. Even though there are times that that we disagree on things, it's a it's a friendly disagreement. And and I think you're you're kind of afforded that atmosphere where you can talk about things that you might disagree on and, and have a good banter back and forth or a debate, if you will, uh, throughout the ball game. And I just think that when you've got a teacher that, that's a Hall of Famer, he's been around for, for so long, and, and I loved listening to Marty and Joe when I was growing up. That, that, was, that was part of this atmosphere for me, learning from, from those guys and from other broadcasters that are out there. And then to be able to sit and, and do the ball games with, with Marty and like I, I like to say, I'm just I'm keeping the seat warm for Joe. Jim Day has been part of the Fox Sports Ohio broadcast team for 16 seasons and will produce content for both the Reds' radio pre- and post-game shows, as well as doing some TV work in 2018. Yeah, I was able to do a, a, a few games last year as well as spring training. And, um, you know, I've been a, a guy that's uh, been versatile uh, doing everything, uh, whether it be TV or radio or hosting post-game shows, pre-game shows, reporting, play-by-play, uh, -play, play, you name it. Um, and they're allowing me to do a little more play-by-play -play this year um, on TV and radio. And um, just thrilled and honored that they would even consider me, let alone hire me to do it. It's something I enjoy. I'm not, you know, not sure how good I am at it yet, but uh, um, certainly love the challenge. And, uh, you know, to being able to at times sit next to Marty and do games with him is, is really unreal to me and uh, working with Cowboy who I have a good rapport with both I consider dear friends uh, really looking forward to it. Pitcher Amir Garrett made 14 starts on the hill for the Reds in 2017 spending time between Cincinnati and AAA Louisville. He was one of a number of pitchers vying for a spot in the rotation last season. The Reds had a high number of 16 pitchers make starts for the club last year. Garrett's hoping to solidify his spot in the rotation right out of spring training. You know, it's it's a lot of pressure, um, but it's it's pressure that I put on myself. Uh, it should have just been the same game I've always played. You know, uh, I had a little mental breakdown last year with, and usually I'm stronger than that. You know, it's just in in this off season. You know, I worked on that and and and, and mentally locking in, not letting anything break you. So. I think, you know, last year I felt that I needed that what I had because going through the minor leagues, I'd never struggled. So, you know, when I got to the big leagues, I was doing good and then I struggled. I feel like I needed that as a player to to bring me down to back to reality and, uh, you know, just to, to reestablish myself again, which is no big deal. I, I would be able to do that. But I feel like I needed that, you know, in, in, in my development, I needed to – uh, go through some struggles, which I did. And I felt like that, that helped me as a player and will carry it into 2018. And, you know, all the, all the struggles and failures are behind me now. And I'm not even worried about what happened last year. I'm worried about 2018 and that's winning. And, uh, you know, 
bringing the winning tradition back here to Cincinnati and get the ball rolling. Dick Williams, president and general manager of the club, talks about how the Reds have shored up their pitching staff. Yeah, but I feel like, you know, there's still a lot of healthy competition. You know, my roster right now, our 40-man roster, there aren't any guys that, that, that you would take off, you know, that you would give up. And um, that has not been the case over the last few seasons. We've had, a, you know, when we had all the injuries, we had a lot of guys on the roster that you knew were sort of short-term fixes. Um, right now we're at a point where we have a lot of pitching depth, you know, guys that we've put on the roster that we think are going to be big league pitchers. Um, and so there's going to be some very healthy competition. Uh, we know we need more than five starters. You know you need more than seven guys in the bullpen. So it's really nice to have a big group with, you know, with the flexibility of being able to option them up and down. You know, I, th I think that'll work to our advantage this year because we're, we're about as deep as any team in baseball in terms of quality, you know, and quantity. I just think, you know, where we, where we probably don't stack up as much as, you know, most of our guys are a little younger and less experienced. But I think that gives us more upside. The Cowboy agrees. Well, I think you have a, a lot of guys that have some experience in the big leagues. There, um, there, there shouldn't be a, a whole lot of nerves involved uh, for guys that are just coming up to the big leagues. There are a lot of guys that, that have some time under their belt. Whether it was good time or bad time, it's still experience at the big league level on a big league mound uh, in a big league ballpark. And I think for those guys, uh, if, if they're going to make it, they need to capitalize on what they did well and – to really work on the things that they did not do well. And, and hopefully this offseason has given them some time to kind of decipher that, that mental process. Because all I, I think all of the guys that, that we have brought to the big leagues have the physical tools to be successful up here. I think where they get held back is from the neck up and trying to make either too much out of it or not making it enough. And I think with, with having Homer Bailey coming back and, and being healthy, having a healthy Anthony DeSclafani, a healthy Brandon Finnegan, all three of those guys, they've got some, some decent experience in the big leagues. And if, if they're healthy and they're throwing the ball well in spring training, I would imagine that they'll get the first considerations for the first three spots. Now, we saw how well Luis Castillo pitched last year, really up until, I mean, until they took the ball from him. And I've got to believe that, that he's a front runner to be in the rotations. That's, that's four guys right there. We didn't really have that last year. We had five open spots. And as long as the guys stay healthy, that, that, that creates a, a competition uh, for the fourth spot, for the fifth spot, and for spots moving on as the season continues. The Reds also use former players on this caravan, bringing back this year Todd Bensinger, who made the final out in the 1990 World Series sweep of the Oakland Athletics. Uh, well, easy, just just like you're catching it in the backyard. You know, it wasn't any, it wasn't a hard catch, but uh, you know, it, and to me, uh, it was a big game, and we were so just worried about finishing that series off. You know, uh, if you remember, Billy Hatcher had a broken hand. Uh, Eric Davis had a punctured lung. Jose Rijo couldn't pitch until Game Seven. If we happen to uh, this guy, I think it was Carney Lansford, right? If he hits a home run, you know, and they they win this game, it could be a start of a big comeback because we weren't going to be the same Reds team that played in the first four games. So when it when it came, when the ball was hit, and in Oakland you have all that foul territory, um, I was just happy because the game was over. I was going to catch it. And the caravan always presents a future Reds player, and that includes minor leaguer Tyler Stevenson, who plays catcher. The Georgia native was selected in 2015 in the first year player draft by the Reds. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's easier said than done, and people are just like, oh, you just got to catch the ball and throw it back to pitcher. <laughs> I, I wish it was that easy, but I, I'm, I'm still learning, and I'm, I remember, I don't know, I was kind of fortunate in high school because we had uh, two pitchers actually go to Clemson. University to play, so I was kind of fortunate to have some pretty high-level guys in high school to be able to, I don't know, control them, help be a part of them. But now at this level, it's I think the hardest thing the past couple of years, which has been better now. But when I first got drafted, was I was 18 at the time and I was playing with 22, 23, 24 year olds, and I mean it was I don't know, it's pretty hard to for me to go up to a guy who's four or five years older than me and kind of get in his face. I was like, I mean, I'm the little kid compared to these guys, but 
it's been better the past couple of years and I mean I've I've grown up a lot and I've uh gotten relationship with a bunch of the guys and just kind of getting that trust and I mean I'm still learning we're all I mean we're still kind of learning just from the pitchers and me ourselves but we're going to have mistakes and that's how we learn so we just got to continue to do that and just minimize the mistakes and to go from there. Opening day will feature the Reds and Washington Nationals on Thursday, March 29th at Great American Ballpark. With the Reds Caravan, I'm Dan Ramey, Litter Media.